from the outside looking into other people, like, you know, I guess it looks like we're handling it pretty well, but, I mean, ultimately, like, the grief never stops, and, I mean, that's something that a lot of people don't realize. It's kind of like they're expecting to go through, like, a series of steps, like, um, I don't know, like rehab or something, but um, it's it's something that changes your life forever. I'm Ashley, this is my husband, Jose, Hello. Um, and we're Liam's parents. He was conceived in Hawaii. He's in the Air Force. It was supposed to be two to three year thing. We got pregnant right away once we got there and found out he had a heart defect called hypoplastic left heart mm -hmm. syndrome. The left side of his heart wasn't fully formed, the side that pumps the blood to the body and there wasn't a fetal surgeon cardiologist on the island. So that meant we had to move back home after only being there for nine months. Um, and I'm from Texarkana, two hours away. So I'm like, Little Rock, Arkansas Children's. I know they can do it, like we're going there. A month after moving here, they discovered that his heart defect was much worse than they had thought before. And uh, he had too much blood and fluid in his lungs and he wouldn't even be able to survive the surgeries that would help him to grow up. Um, and he was born March 28th of 2021 and lived for 24 minutes. And then he went to heaven and was fully healed. Looked like dad. Soon as he was born, they're like, oh, he's got hair like dad, which, of course, the jet black hair, head full Cut of hair. hair. We got a poppy plate and the molly bear, the weighted bear that's um, like him. And I was wondering, like, how to make the plates or, like, what colors to do because his, um, for a congenital heart defect, for a CHD, their ribbon color is red and blue. So I thought, I'm like, oh, well, I can do, like, the red and blue stripes, but I'm like, no, he's... He's a boy, I was like, I want all blue. So it's an all blue um, rim. And then his, it was able to have both his handprints and both his feet prints and then um, his stats and the time he was born, the time he went to heaven on there. I'm very blessed. Had I not been married to my amazing husband who found a grief retreat, what, three weeks after he went to heaven to see and hear other family stories about child loss. Um, I, I've been like, no, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to, you know, tell my story because it was still so fresh. Um, but we found it, and it honestly has been very helpful. Finding the club that none of us asked to be a part of, so we still lean back on what we were taught, how to process our grief that way. And whenever we had our rainbow baby. I was, was going to ask you about the rainbow yes. baby that I'm rocking right here. Tell I was, rainbow baby. Uh, her name's Eden. and Like the Garden of Eden. Like the Garden <laughs> of Eden. Um, and we w were very thankful that Liam was able to, we hope, say good things about us to her <laughs> before, she, before God sent her to um, us. And that Liam got to help pick his little sister. I guess one of the biggest challenges we have is like, parents, not just ourselves, but I'm sure other people go through is uh, you're not grieving memories that you had. I mean, you are, but you're also grieving memories and experiences that you never got to have. Um, there's a very, very large community out there. And until you go through like child loss yourself, you don't realize how many people around you have actually gone through it. Um, and it's, I don't know, to me, it's been very helpful. Uh, and I hate to say it, but that the community is so large um, because you can find other people to like lean on to um, and you know ultimately like the way that we think we like to give back is by being there for um, people, um, family or friends that like, go through similar uh, experiences. I, people breathed into us and breathed life into us now I, I feel I'm able to breathe into them donate, give back, however that looks to the child loss, family, community, club, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that I'm excited to see what, what we can do with Liam's memory.